all right guys here we are is another segment where i'm going to give you guys updates a video that is going viral which the georgia meloni which is known as the fratelli d'italia the leader have posted a video on her platform whereby italians are commenting different kind of things but we don't have to blame anybody we just have to blame our african leaders the rate at which they frustrated the youth that is why you find out that people are trying to kind of like migrate or leave the country now the georgia miloni have posted a video where italians are commenting different kind of things and then guys have it in mind that we all know the story that even coming from libya in dark sea there are different kind of like a story there whereby the asthma boys we try to it kind of like be dragging those ones who are trying to arrive in the coast of uh, Italy. But first, before I go to the major article here, before I give you guys the video to watch, I want to say respect to those ones who came from Adeyola, Fanyahu. Guys, respect to you all. And then don't expect me to speak a big grammar just like her. You know, <laughs> there are way we do our things here in this platform. If you go about this channel, if you go to the about of this channel, you'll find out that you can see Italian and then see um, English and then at the same time Pigeon English. So we mix all these things together in order to get the taste of the uh, news or the articles. And it depends on the type of news. That depends on how we report our news. So more than not, they offended. Say, when I go see Pigeon English at the center of the news. So now, so we take the one for this platform. Respect to you all, to our big sister who tried to promote this platform. God bless you so much. This lady, this our uh, sister tried to kind of like uh, give me a shout out from her platform. And then I'm beginning to see the result from you guys who are coming in, you know. Despite that most of you are not identifying that you guys came from her. But definitely I know where you people are coming from. Respect to you guys. This is Prince TV where I try to give updates about immigration. What is happening here in Italy most especially. And then when we have news from other countries like Malaysia. Different places we try to guard up all these things up. In order for people to see how things are going. Now let's go back to the main story why we are here. Like I was saying before you know guys the rate at which immigrants arrive here in italy you know is the kind of like a getting out of hand this is why the georgia meloni put the picture this lady will be like sooner they see for here now so that is the georgia meloni we are talking about the leader of the fratelli d'italia right, guys so now let's watch the video and see how it looks like if we come back we'll give more analysis la voce è dei soccorritori le frustate no quelle sono dei trafficanti Sotto la barca sono, è piena di gente, sotto la barca è piena di gente. Ci stanno a presto. È tutto pieno sotto là, sotto è tutto pieno. Fine giugno, 12 miglia dalle coste libiche, al limite delle acque territoriali della Libia. Il barcone dei migranti è poco lontano dalla Vos Estia, la nave di una ONG, organizzazione non governativa. È stracolmo, ma nessuno è in pericolo di vita. Il mare è una tavola. Il gommone della ONG sta per cominciare le operazioni di trasbordo sulla nave, destinazione un porto siciliano. Accanto al barcone ci sono sempre questi due barchini. Sopra, uomini dai volti in parte nascosti da cappelli e sciarpe. Sono pescatori libici? Dai vestiti si direbbe di sì, ma non hanno reti né attrezzi da pesca. Come tutto lascia pensare, sono gli scafisti. Attenzione a questi tre. Qui ci sono circa 650 persone, per metà, chiuse nella stiva. Un loro spostamento potrebbe provocare un rovesciamento dell'imbarcazione. Gli addetti sui gommoni operano in condizioni estremamente difficili. Sulla linea dell'orizzonte attorno alla vostra estia ci sono 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 barconi, anch'essi pieni fino all'inverosimile ognuno accompagnato da uno o due motoscafi dei presunti scafisti. Tutto lascia pensare che li abbiano scortati fin qui e ora aspettano solo che i barconi vengano svuotati per recuperarli. Dentro! Dentro! Le operazioni di soccorso o di semplice smistamento sulla nave della ONG avvengono sotto il controllo dei finti pescatori. Qui il barchino addirittura si aggancia al barcone. Ma chi è questo signore? Si muove con l'autorità di un capo. Sembra essere salito a bordo proprio dal barchino dei presunti scafisti. Ma forse lo abbiamo già incontrato. Sì, è proprio uno dei tre che abbiamo visto all'inizio. 
stessa felpa azzurrina, stesso cappellaccio. Qui è in primo piano. Impartisce ordini ai due rimasti sul barchino e guardate cosa si fa passare. Un tubo di gomma. Lo brandisce come un bastone per minacciare e tenere a bada i migranti. Anche i gregari sono riconoscibili. Uno porta un cappello da donna. Scene frequenti. Ecco cosa accade su un altro barcone. E tutto avviene sotto gli occhi dell'equipaggio della nave e del team della ONG. I migranti viaggiano in condizioni disumane. sono tutte, la maggior parte, donne e bambini. Finalmente a bordo della vostra Estia, che li sbarcherà in Italia. Come si vede, prima degli interventi, gli operatori vengono dotati di caschi con le telecamere. Queste immagini saranno state fornite alle autorità italiane? Secondo la denuncia di un ex addetto al salvataggio, almeno in un caso alla richiesta della polizia italiana salita sulla nave una volta in porto, l'equipaggio e il team della ONG avrebbero risposto di no, di non avere immagini dei soccorsi, dove con tutta evidenza sono ritratti anche i finti pescatori. E un'altra circostanza, sempre secondo le denunce agli atti della procura di Trapani, a proposito di... Right, guys, so that is the video you just watched now. The reason why I be like, I play this video for here now for now to see how all these things still happen. Because if you see the view of this video in her platform, the rate at which Italian are commenting, stating that African, they come here to Rubinato everywhere. And we just came the kind of like uh, to spoil their country, all those kind of stuff, stating different kind of things, stating that we are coming here to Rompi Culioni, Rompi Bale. You know how these people behave for those ones who are living here in Italy. So this is very bad. That you know they intimidate immigrants who try to arrive here, but we don't have to blame them because you know we came here to kind of like uh, try to seek for help. Whereby God have given us a country to cultivate, but the leaders there they try to hold everything ransom, thereby letting the youth to go astray. What we are not supposed to be doing, then we keep on doing it. People are running her task to Libya, different kind of places. Or in the name to have a better life, whereby God have given us a land to cultivate, but the leaders try to kind of like uh, hang up everything for their children, for their generation. So this is the problem we are facing in the world today. So guys, that is the update there. I just want you guys to know how Georgia Meloni have published the video of immigrants who are struggling to arrive in Italy. Whereby she just tried to give this evidence to Italians to know how amount of immigrants who are arriving in the coast of Italy. So without wasting time, let's go straight to another article and then we'll see how it looks like. Alright guys, see here in Italy, one of the senators in the party of the Fratelli d'Italia known as Giorgia Miloni have came out to give some articles or to give some kind of like uh, um, analysis stating that there is no difference between Mario Draghi and Giuseppe Conte. For those ones who don't know Giuseppe Conte, that is this man you guys are seeing here on board. He was the Prime Minister of Italy before he was being a kind of like a frustrated by Matteo Renzi, Matteo Savini and that of the Giorgia Meloni. And then this man decided to resign because he was having a lot of heat like you know trying to kind of like disturb this man and then at the end of the day they tried to make the crucial election whereby he won the election but he was not having the majority to move on the government and then this man tried to resign out of the power now they choose the Mario Draghi to be the prime minister of Italy but still yet the leader of the Fratelli d'Italia that is that particular party is opposition to this government and now they are stating that there is no difference between Giuseppe Conte and that of Mario Draghi and then you guys can bear me witness that this Giuseppe Conte is a very good man who was trying to create job or give out documents to immigrants who are living across the country. So guys, now these people are now stating that Giuseppe Conte and then Mario Draghi, there is no difference because the same DPGM, the same restriction, go out today, stay house tomorrow, next tomorrow you go out, you know, restriction up and down are the same thing they are kind of like a putting in measures. So that Mario Draghi is just the same thing like that of Giuseppe Conte. So guys, I want you guys to give me your point of view, what you are thinking about what this lady said. Now let's watch the video where this lady was trying to give this a statement. If we come back, we'll try to finish the analysis. Non si può fare. Questo valeva con il governo Conte, valeva con l'ultimo governo per quanto riguarda l'alleanza rosso-gialla, 
vale ancora oggi con questo governo Macedonia, rosso, giallo, azzurro e blu. Vale la stessa cosa, perché guardando da questa parte, quella di Fratelli d'Italia, troverete sempre la coerenza e la forza delle nostre idee, che non cambiano a secondo dei colori che passano e delle stagioni. Perché quando le idee sono giuste, gli uomini e le donne battono e si battono per quelle idee. All right, guys, so that is it. That is what that lady just stated there, stating that, you know, Giuseppe Conte and then Mario Draghi, there is no difference. They are best of the same feather. But for me, I prefer Giuseppe Conte. And I know as well, you guys who are watching here, you always prefer Giuseppe Conte because he's a very nice man and then a humble person, you understand? So that is it. This is the update I have for you guys. Those ones who love a ready to the emergency, the government are trying to kind of like now uh, approve this uh, law so that people will go and be applying for that ready to the emergency. Most of you are asking about ready to the emergency. And then they are preparing this ready to in such a way that it will be for four months, you understand? So let's see. Whenever they prove the, uh, the, uh, the sustainable decree, then we have to still give updates to you guys and know how all these things are going. But have it in mind that the uh, ready to emergency is going to be for at least a good four months. And those ones who already apply already is going to be automatic. And then those ones who are to apply, who never applied before, you have to go and do it. So now try to make sure your EZ is available so that immediately they open it, you'll be the first person to click in and then receive this money. If you have not subscribed to this platform, please guys try to subscribe and share out this video. Hit the like button, drop your comment, anything you are thinking about the video. Till next time again, we'll be together. I remain your boy, Prince TV. Ciao. I'm a